smile. You're watching a modern day miracle. Hey guys, welcome to Outdoor Photo. My name is Gunter. I'm here with another Yes Man review to show to you the new 85mm 1.4 GM lens 2 from Sony. This is not the 2016 85mm that had a stench of chromatic aberration. It was slow in focus, very sharp, but quite a questionable lens when you're shooting into high contrast like uh, sunny backgrounds and very high lit backgrounds. It, it just, it was so good. It had so much potential and it just didn't reach it. With this new lens, the new integer of Sony, the 85mm 1.4 GM2, the chromatic aberration is the thing of the past. The weight is incredible and we'll have, dive into that in a second. But it just fits gimbals a lot easier. It works a lot better. The focusing is an absolute, absolute pleasure to deal with on this lens. And it's something that Sony has been working on for quite a while now. The G Master technology on this and the dials and everything, all the little attention to details on it. Simple thing is these little multifunction buttons that you've got present on the, on the lens itself. And it's obviously got the AF manual focus. The Iris has a bearing, which is, uh, don't know how I feel about, oh, hold on, no problem. Iris lock on and off. So switch it off and it's a perfect smooth Iris closing. So you can switch it to aperture and simply, or auto, and simply connect it onto your camera and control it from the camera. You don't need to do it on the lens itself. So that can also lock into position so that you don't by accident move and change your aperture as you're going on. But proof is in the pudding. And what we've got down in the description below is a link to some of the images that we took with this lens. Now grabbed Lizelle quickly, took her outside just to get a couple of shots. And the image quality on this is absolutely, absolutely incredible. It's sharp, it's fast in focus, it's exactly what we want. Uh, use this safe, out of my experience, a safer uh, aperture like around F2. But again, the focusing was super fast and easy to use. For still life portraiture, image quality, what a, what a cool lens. Went out, got this. Uh, brother, uh, what's that brother? Brother, uh. But that's obviously what happens when you put a reflector into a model's face and uh, really blind her eyes. So sorry about that, Lizelle. Thank you. We appreciate your time out there. But moving on to the good stuff. As soon as we uh, started repairing the damage to her retinas and we changed the angles. I mean, look at that. This was shot in a Sony a7R4. What a beast of a camera. Shot at a thousandth of a second F2 ISO 80 on the 85mm. And that image quality is phenomenal. Again, guys, check out the description below. We'll put a, a, a link in there. You can download some of these images, have a go at them, edit them, whatever. We've got the JPEGs and raw images up there. Uh, when I scroll through this, obviously shooting outside is one thing, but when we go into low light conditions or more difficult situations, I mean, outside is sun, there's bright light, everything's great. But if we go into a shop, a lighting shop, like Lighting Warehouse, that's right next door to us, you go and have a look at the image quality and the focusing that we get in these conditions. And all of a sudden, the quality just pops out beautifully. So looking at these images, obviously shooting at a much lower aperture, shooting at max apps f1.4, it is dangerous. You're gonna lose focus on the one eye or your depth of field becomes so shallow in the terms of sliding scales on the 85mm that that is perfectly in focus on those lashes. But as soon as you get further out, it is completely out of focus. So looking at these images, uh, just some backlighting on here, Again, we'll drop these images into the, into the link below. Guys, what a cool lens. Really excited about this. This adds to the family of the GM2 series lenses. Lighter, faster in focus. Great performance out of these. Highly recommend this lens. I mean, looking at this lens's weight, it is absolutely, it's, let's get to how ridiculous it is. There you go. So, Looking at the previous lens and what that weighed versus what this lens weighs. Previous lens was 820 grams. This lens, if I take, let's put a microfiber cloth on there.
177 and one gram lighter than the weight difference between the GM1 and the GM2. Imagine carrying all of this stuff. Imagine carrying all of that stuff in your hands. I know it sounds ridiculous, it's only 178 grams, but 178 grams carried across the entire day does make a difference. And especially if you're working on gimbals, the weight balance between this and the 50 mm f1.4 is so close that interchanging between lenses and rebalancing and calibrating your gimbals is just so much easier. Guys, what a cool lens. I am I'm thoroughly impressed. I'm thankful for Sony for sending me this thing to go and test out. Check it out. Get onto our website, outdoorphoto.co.za and get your name on the list for this beautiful, beautiful piece of glass. Check you out, cheers.